All right, guys, Cobra Trading here, back for yet another Bitcoin analysis. Uh, the halving was pretty much a non-event, so I wanted to just kind of go ahead and get into exactly what happened and all of that good stuff. Today is May 13th. It's about 1230 here on the East Coast. I thought it was already on. Sorry about that. So uh, this was the doji that I just mentioned, and we're forming a bullish candle here for the week of the halving. We've got our little midline, our upper range, our lower range, um, all time, uh, you know, long time support and resistance. And I marked the halving. So uh, we've been in this descending channel. Uh, the first time we tested it, uh, the first two times we tested it, actually, we ended up getting rejected pretty hard. Uh, it looks like we're coming up for a third test of this. So uh, I would personally be expecting a break of this with a uh, solid momentum coming in and solid volume coming into the market. So that's definitely something that I'm looking forward to. Uh, so let's go ahead and turn this off, turn our Ichimoku on and see what Ichimoku tells us. All right. So we had, it looks like we're fighting our Kijinsen right here. We tapped our 200 uh, weekly EMA just absolutely perfectly used as support. I mentioned that in the last analysis video. And uh, now we're just coming up. Uh, we're hoping for a weekly close above this Kijinsen line. And uh, if that happens, we can come up and uh, start testing the bottom of the cloud here at about uh, 995, uh, about 9,500, uh, which if you draw a line over from this is a uh, perfect historical resistance. So that would be very nicely. Our indicators on the weekly are starting to definitely turn bullish. Our MACD line, uh, if this candle closes for the weekly on the bullish side, then our MACD will also be closing um, above, just slightly above our zero mark here. We've got our momentum indicator that's uh, starting to turn upwards as well. So maybe one or two more weeks uh, of some bullish momentum uh, we could even stand for a little correction in here, and I think in the next couple weeks we'll see our momentum uh, starting to turn officially bullish as well. That's not to say that this price action here is not bullish. Clearly it is. Uh, so let's go ahead and turn it down to a weekly chart and see what we got here. So we had that last drop um, on our daily. We came down and we almost touched our daily 250 and 100 moving average. All of these levels are converging uh, here, and this is a very, very strong area of support. Everywhere from 8,400 all the way down to 8,000, um, you know, just everywhere in there. 80, 85 to, to 8K is just a very, very strong, strong range of support. We were very overbought here and then came back into normal territory, and our MACD is still actually pretty bearish. We've been bearish since uh, officially on the 4th. And now we're starting to come all the way back down into uh, bearish territory here uh, with some more bullish candles. I would expect this to just turn around and come back up, but uh, it's looking like we're actually getting uh, a lower low here on our daily MACD. So if we take a look at this and we draw a line over, we're getting some uh, divergence here. So we're getting we're going to be getting a lower low on the MACD, but a higher low or a uh, higher high on the uh, on the price action. So taking a look with all of our support and resistance lines on here, uh, you know, you can pretty much see what's going on. I've had this red uh, box drawn here for a long, 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 long time. And uh, we're coming up and testing this yet again. We tested it here, rejected hard, grinded our way back up, tested it four or five times, broke through it, uh, was not able to hold above 10K and fell right back down to retest the 200. So uh, in my opinion, on the overall daily chart, uh, this is actually pretty bullish that we didn't fall back through the 200 EMA, right? So we broke through it. We tested a high at 10K and uh, we just had a bullish retest of uh, major support here at the 200 EMA line. So uh, that's actually pretty good. Um, the RSI has actually broken back above this 56 mark however it's just on this one candle if this candle closes bearishly for the day then uh, it'll probably end up turning into a rejection here so let's go down to a four hour still inside of the cloud on the four hour chart and you can see those 200 ema tests a lot clearer here on this four hour our ichimoku the lines are literally converging and they're right on top of each other so this is 
kind of neither good nor bad, I guess. Um, it's just, it's in bullish territory, but they're so close together. It's kind of like undecided of like what's really happening, if we're going to get across or not. So we definitely need to take some more time here on our four hour chart for that. Let's go ahead and turn our Ichimoku off on our four hour. Yeah, so we're really just tapping, 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 tapping this, uh, this whole area of resistance here that goes way, way back. Uh, let's see, this is March, and then it goes further back than that. We're sitting around in it uh, during February and stuff before we had that huge pop. So this is definitely a known historical area of support and resistance. Um, Honestly, I'm not really expecting this to break. Uh, this is really only the second time recently that, that we've been testing this. I'm not expecting it to break immediately. I think we're probably going to end up ranging here uh, in this area for a little bit of time. So probably, um, you know, between about 8,500 and, uh, you know, 99,000. So, you know, this five, $600 range here. Once this range is broken, uh, we actually did get a bullish close above our immediate support or uh, resistance here at about 9,000. Uh, and now it just looks like we're coming back down and we're gonna, we're gonna test that. Let's go down to a one hour with the Ichimoku and see. Wow, so we actually ended up, right now we're retesting uh, the top of the cloud on the Ichimoku and coming back down from tapping uh, this uh, 70 limit on our RSI up here, which is really nice. Looks like our MACD is gonna cross over. So I would expect maybe for the next few hours uh, you know, we see some bullish or uh, some bearish momentum rather maybe come down uh, to about 9,000, which is only about a hundred dollars here on the, on the one hour chart. So nothing too crazy. Uh, but I would like to see, um, you know, a bullish retest of this 200 EMA on the one hour. We tested it here, got rejected, tested it here again, broke through it. So I would definitely like to see a, uh, a retest of our 200 EMA right here. Let's take a look at our dominance chart. I haven't taken a look at this in quite some time, but it looks like we're getting really solidly rejected uh, by the actual um, <laughs> by the actual cloud here. So let's bring it up to a four hour. Oof. So we're sitting right at about almost 68%. It looks like we're trying to turn our Tenkinson into support here, uh, which is a good thing. Um, I would like to see us kind of hold this um, 65 to 70 range uh, that that would be very good for you know long term uh, Bitcoin momentum uh, maybe not so good with alts though so if we take a look at the total market cap uh, with Bitcoin this is what we got going on we're just kind of sitting in the cloud here coming up and testing resistance um, uh, same thing with uh, you know the price action without uh, Bitcoin included we're kind of using this 50 EMA right now as support. So what do we have here in terms of gaps? This gap was filled, we popped up above. Uh, this is another gap right here that we now have again. So basically this entire thing, um, previously I thought that this would be um, considered filled in here, but uh, considering this last drop that we had, uh, it's really not good. I think maybe if we break above uh, 9,500, we could definitely see a very, very strong push upwards. So that's uh, pretty much what's going on on the CMEs. Uh, real quick, I also, I know this isn't uh, Twitter or crypto related, but I want to take a look at uh, my Twitter chart. These are all of our ranges for our yearly high and low, monthly support and all of that stuff. And we're in this ascending channel right now. Probably end up testing um, our golden pocket up here and then coming back down. I'm not sure which chart I had it on. I have a Elliott wave count for this. I'll just post it on Twitter later. I'm not gonna waste your time with trying to find it right now on um, on this chart, but uh, basically this is what I'm thinking is gonna end up happening. We had this uh, low here, uh, which was the, the weekly low. And uh, now it looks like we're trying to find support down here at the 382 Fib level. And we're gonna come up, test this golden pocket possibly or sweep the monthly high and then probably end up rejecting hard there uh, and coming back down. So that's what I'm pretty much expecting with that. I'm looking and being patient and waiting for a good entry on a short position on this. I, I want a short Twitter. <laughs> I'll just put that out there. I want a short Twitter. 
Uh, so anyway, folks, that's pretty much what I have for today. Not really too much else uh, going on here, except that we're testing this known level of resistance right now. Hopefully uh, we see a bullish retest of our, uh, you know, of our EMA lines down here and stuff on the four hour and on the daily chart. Uh, and then just continue our way upwards. I don't think that the downward momentum um, is completely finished. I do think that, you know, we come down here and at least test these levels one more time before we continue upward. I'm just waiting patiently to see what ends up happening with this level of uh, support. Uh, you know, if we can flip this level into support later on. So that's pretty much all I got for you guys today. I hope that uh, if you guys are trading, trade safe. Uh, the market's been really choppy, just kind of all over the place for the last couple of days, um, you know, because of the halving and all of that. So just play it safe, be careful. Um, and until next time, make sure that you check out my medium with all my educational articles. Make sure that you're following me on Twitter for all of these uh, YouTube updates and make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, you can turn notifications on as well so that you can get the updates there if you're not super into Twitter or any of that stuff. So with all that said, I hope that you guys have a wonderful rest of the week and I look forward to seeing you guys again on Monday for a weekly roundup.